Hello guys and hello Ben. This is Ben from Combi Life. And we are in a combi. This is my V-Dub bus. Um, I've been tra traveling from Chile, heading up to Alaska and have shared this tiny little space with over a hundred people. And so we thought we'd get together here in Canada and talk about travel and love. And relationships while on the road. Yes, something that we're both quite experienced on. So we want to educate you in this video. It'll be fun. So the first way to find people is before you go. Best way? Internet. Social media. The other ways to find people when you get there. go to hostels you are going to be surrounded by other people that love traveling, love exploring and love adventures. Get out there, get meeting, you are not going to be short of travel companions. Once you've got those relationships, how do you keep them? Is the difficult part. First and most important is to make sure that you have good personal hygiene. Another important one is keeping anger. <laughs> <laughs> which is hungry anger. Seriously, we've been driving on this road forever. Where the hell are we going? I, I, I've been looking, this is the right map. It's just... Banana. Yeah. Hanger. Open communication. It might sound like an obvious one, but talk to the people you're traveling with. If you're tired, if you're sick, if you're frustrated, tell them how you're feeling. You're much more likely to get a hug than a slap. Be supportive of each other. I mean, everybody is at some point or another going to be either frustrated or tired or could get sick, even if you just met them. And even if you were tired and frustrated too. Ben, are you okay? Okay, bro. I think it was a seafood. And keep it lighthearted and keep perspective. You are going to miss the bus occasionally. The hotel is not going to look as good as it did in the brochure. Oh, it looked much better in the pictures. Just have a giggle about it. These are the things that you'll look back on and laugh at afterwards. Be flexible to your travel partner's needs. Compromise. That's one of the things that you gotta do when you're traveling with other people. I want the banana. I want the banana. Compromise. Compromise. If things do get a bit stressful on your travels, you can always treat yourself. Think about using two to three days of your budget in one go on a nice meal or a nice hotel so that you can feel rejuvenated and you can approach the next day with full energy. Treat yourself. Ah. If you find that you can't be flexible and one person wants to do one thing and another person wants to do another thing, consider splitting up for the day and meeting back for a beer over sunset to talk about all the amazing things you discovered in that town or that place during the day. with going off and doing your own thing for a day or a few hours. Nothing wrong. And just avoiding. Yeah, um, unfortunately these situations do happen that you are traveling with somebody and you're realizing that you're not clicking. You're not clicking as well as you would like to and you have to say goodbye to that person. They might not necessarily want to leave you. there's really no way to get around it yeah it's a little bit difficult um, you have to be a little bit selfish but, but you also have to be respectful for the other person's feelings because you will hurt someone's feelings so if you feel that your direction is different to the other person's or you want it to be please be nice to them and break it to them gently but be honest you'll hurt their feelings even more later down the line if you don't do it you know even if you went traveling with your best friend and you find halfway through the adventure that it's not really working out Bear in mind that just because they're your best friend, it doesn't mean that you can spend 24 hours a day with them. So if you want to keep that friendship long term, it might be a good idea to split up for a little while and meet up again further down the road. And it's good to realize that and break the travel off then and there and keep that friendship then continuing on with the travel knowing that you guys are not getting along in travel and ruining that friendship forever. Yeah, totally. Saying goodbye isn't always something you want to do when you don't want to travel with them. Sometimes and often when you're traveling, you have to say goodbye to the people that you've met and have absolutely fallen in love with. And it can be really, really tricky. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there are all sorts of reasons why your travel has to stop. Um, and these are going to be not of your choosing. I like to think that nothing is forever. Like, goodbyes are always hard. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. That's exactly. the one. Exactly. Just remember guys to embrace the experience and the adventure and keep an open heart with lots of love for the people that you will meet on the road. Because you'll never know, never know who that person is until you meet them. That's right guys, happy travels. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it and click subscribe for more videos from me. And don't forget to check out Combi Life in the video links below or my latest travel video from Turkey. Bye.